All right, good morning, folks. Hey, I'm going to do a very short little video. It'll be about 15 minutes, that's it. But I want to clear one thing up real quick, just so someone can put their mind at ease. I don't like seeing this. Um, Margie, you can relax. It's not you, sweetie. You don't need to be in tears or sick to your stomach. Um, I am not talking about you. I am talking about people that have started channels. I've seen people that have taken a hieroglyph that the Lord showed me that I drew in all the changes of shadows back in 2005. I drew that thing in 2008. I went public with it. Then a certain person whose name I'm not going to mention, he started a channel and he used the hieroglyph and he said, Oh, look, Donald Trump's in here. And Oh, look, there's a Joker in here because the devil's a Joker. And it looks just like the Joker in the Batman movies. I mean, that's just nonsense. Pure and utter nonsense. And so anybody that mentions that person on my channel, if you mention him in the comment sections, you're blocked forever. I don't let you leave comments. Oh, go to the blank channel. I'm like, block, forget. Uh, another person has started a channel doing what he's doing. And that person, he likes to start off with his name. It's not his name. It's uh, He changes the tone of his voice at the very beginning of his videos. And um, then he takes data that I put out, and I know he used to be a subscriber. And then he went and started a channel. He takes the data the Lord gives me, and he goes and he gives people some bait, like, here you go. And then he legitimizes what he's doing. And then he goes off and says, look, here's underwater mountain ranges that have dead sheep. And the other guy that does it says, oh, underwater mountain ranges that are the virgin. That's crazy because here's the point. The stuff that I'm showing you is done with intent, with a spirit behind it. Not an underwater mountain range, which is a natural geological formation. That's pure nonsense. I mean, it you, you know, to try and draw, oh, look at the cloud. I mean, it, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's just nonsense. So it's not you, Margie. Okay, I want you to be at peace. It's not Margie at all. And I wrote you some comments. I wrote you some comments back letting you know, no, it's not you. Uh, don't worry about it. There you go. Misunderstood. There you go. Don't worry about it. And now, look, I, I understand some people, when you wake up to this stuff, there's a tendency uh, like that dry lake bed. People try and make more out of the dry lake bed than there really is. And that happens at first. I've seen people do that. It's okay. But you have to realize we are going for the spiritual intent. Like, why did they name a fossil Obamas Coronatus? Cor you know, it's, you got to look at the intent of the spirit behind it. That's what's doing it. This is a spiritual war, not a geological formation war. You know what I mean? It's not that, oh, look, underwater mountain ranges are the virgin. No, no, wrong. Have you seen anybody doing that nonsense or taking my material and putting their own spin on it? Run from them. Okay, because they have put themselves in a very, very dangerous place. The Bible says not many should be teachers because we'll be held to a higher accountability, much higher. You don't decide that you're a teacher one day. The Lord appoints you. That's the way it works. You don't say, oh, I think I'm going to go start my channel. I, I did not even want to do this. As a matter of fact, I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Just like Jonah. I told the Lord, I'm not doing it, man. No. And uh, he's like, you got to do it. And he's literally scared the, the crap out of me. He told me to go open the Bible. I was in my living room saying, Lord, I'm not going to do this. I can't do this. I'm in. I'm in court right now fighting for custody of my kids. I can't do a YouTube thing where I'm showing everybody Obama's the Antichrist. I'll lose my kids. And the Lord told me, go open the Bible. And I opened the Bible to a watchman's call. At the watchman, see at the sword coming, and he warneth not the people, and they die in their sins. I will hold the watchman personally responsible, his blood for theirs. Because the gift he gave me doesn't belong to me. It belongs to everybody. So I can't hold my life dear to myself and worry about what's going to happen to me or, you know, in, you know, and, and say, well, I'm not going to share the gift that's God given 
because I don't want something bad to happen to me. You have to abandon yourself. You have to die to yourself and say, it doesn't matter what happens to me. This is more important than myself. This is bigger than me or my kids or my wife. This is bigger than all of it. And that's what he makes his his servants and his teachers do. You have to be willing to lay down your life for all of it. Okay, now that I got that out, let me show you something. Um, the other day, I was going to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is what I usually use. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting paid by Jeff. But I want to show you something. So, you know, I use a lot of that peanut butter, but it's been sitting in my cabinet, eh, you know, maybe six months. And, you know, and I'm like, I'm going to make a peanut butter sandwich. And I, and I looked at it and I'm like, you know, I just got over a few health things and I'm like, eh, I didn't want to roll the dice. You know what I mean? I was just like, I know peanut butter is good for a long time, but I was like, you know what? I better just be safe. So I went to the store and I usually always buy Jeff, but I went to the store and I bought a little thing. Look at the, look at the size difference. I bought a little thing of Peter Pan because I was like, well, I didn't eat the big Jif and I don't want to waste any. So I'll just get a little one. And if I run out of a little one, I'll get another one. But I bought Peter Pan this time. Uh-huh. And I heard the Lord say, Jonathan, just turn it upside down. And I'm like, oh, no, here we go again. So there's Peter Pan, right? Look at all the stars, five-pointed stars. Wow, look right there. Oh, my gosh. Let me show you something real quick. Let's look at the... The definition of Peter as slang. P the slang of, of Peter is penis. Let's look at Matthew 25. When the Son of Man shall come in all his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and all the nations shall be gathered. And he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And the sheep go to the right hand into the eternal kingdom and the goats go into the eternal fire. Okay, so that's Matthew 25. Now listen, I don't think... Now, I've shown you all a lot of sheep. I've shown you all so many dead sheep, it's crazy. I mean, altars of St. Peter's, you know, images of me walking into Starbucks where people draw a picture of me. Now, how bizarre is that? Okay, I've shown you all so many dead sheep, it's just insane. Okay, why is the Lord showing me... Peter Pan telling me to look at Peter Pan. I'm like, why did I buy Peter Pan peanut butter instead of Jeff? I always buy Jeff. But this time I bought a little Peter Pan. The Lord tells me, turn it upside down, look at it. Okay, Peter, the slang of Peter, it means penis. I'm sorry, that's what it means. Okay, let me show you something. Let me, let me show you something. Here's a... There's a goat with horns and a goatee. There you go. Why is it when you turn Peter Pan upside down, it's a goat? There's the horn up here, and there's the goatee. Let's just... There you go. So Peter Pan peanut butter is a goat with a goatee, with a, go a little goat beard. There it is. So the feather's just a disguise. Peter Pan, well, do y'all know who Pan is? So Peter, now what's the whole point of Peter Pan? The, the you know the story he's looking for is shadow. <laughs> you know, like if you cast a shadow, you're in their world. If you if you have a reflection, you're in their world. We were light beings. Those who are, you know, uh, those who are wise shall shine like the stars in the firmament. Okay, we're light beings that got captured in host bodies. Now, watch this. So, here you go. There, see the goat? There's, there's the goat's horn. There's its front of its face. There's its nose. There's the goatee. So, Peter Pan's head is really a goat. Let me show you who Pan is. Y'all know who Pan is? Here's Pan. There's the goat god. What the hell? So, there's a goat god having sex with a goat. There's, there's Pan, there's Pan, there's Pan. Okay, enough of Pan. That's disgusting. Okay, so that's who Peter Pan is. So they're just mocking the crap out of us. Peter Pan, it's a goat. 
There you go. Peter Pan. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, so here's the thing. I've had about enough of this stuff. I'm like, yeah. You know, post office, grocery store, um, you know, 10-gallon hats. I mean, that are, there's no doubt about that, what that is. No doubt. There it is. You just put a brim on a Coronas, on a Corona of a penis, and you got yourself a cowboy hat. There you go. And so, does it matter if you wear one? Not at all. Who cares? Once you know what's going on, I mean, I, w I have one, and I'm not going to wear it anymore because just the idea of it bothers me. But so here's the point. I'm going to go back and I'm going to arrange the information now, which is what I need to do. I need to organize stuff. I need to have it all flow so I'm not jumping around everywhere. I have so much data at one time that I'm, let's go to this, and then let's go to this, and I'm just all over the place. It's like, this is insane. I mean, you know, I'm sitting here showing you peanut, Peter Pan peanut butter. There you go. Yeah. Let's see. You know what? Let's just do it right for the camera. Let's see. There's your goat. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slow down a little bit because I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'm just getting so amped up. It's like, damn, dude. It's like crazy. So, I'm going to slow it down and I'm going to organize over the next day. I'm going to take an entire day just to organize. Okay? Because this stuff needs to come out in an organized fashion. The next video will probably be about a three-hour video. Because I'm going to organize all, all the data points. I mean, this is going to be a bullet point presentation. Where it's like, just rapid fire machine gun bullet point presentation. To where there's so much data. It's so overwhelming that when you're done, you're going to be like, okay... We're done. I get it. We're done. This is coming to an end. I guarantee it. In the end, everything that's secret will be made public. Okay. Jesus, when he comes, when the Son of Man shall come in all his glory, and look, and all the holy angels with him, then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory, and he's going to divide the sheep, which I show you all all the time, from the goats. And uh, that's starting to pan out a lot. Pan out. Get it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to start organizing all the data because there's too much data for me to deal with. Every time I run into something like this Drake thing, it just keeps going. Then Drake's wearing, he's got a new big medallion. And it means, it says Stone Island. Well, I know what that is. That's an isotoxal star right there. I know what isotoxal means. Isotoxal means more basically becoming your own reflection. That's that's why he's got an isotoxal star on. And that's why his album is called Scorpion. Because what was our reflection has been cannibalized and we're becoming our own reflection. Get it? Which is evil. So that that race has has finished its cycle so to speak and because they're coming out of the pit make no mistake about it that's my job to warn you locusts are coming out of the pit i'm here to bear witness to the destruction of the temple which is us and the abomination that causes desolation which is the serpent seed within us okay it causes and it's an abomination and it causes desolation of the temple of God. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwelleth in you? People that are waiting for a temple to be built in Jerusalem have absolutely no understanding whatsoever at all. No, we're the temple. We are all being built up as living stones into a holy temple for God to occupy. First Peter 2. Okay, there's no temple that's going up in Jerusalem that's going to, that, that's, that's not what Jesus was talking about. Again, back in, a lot of people think they know. Jesus told the Jews way back in, in Matthew 24, just, I'm sorry, Jesus told the Jews, destroy this temple and in three days I'll raise it up. And the Jews said, it took 46 years. 
to build the temple. Do you know why it was 46 years? What's 23 and 23? DNA from one parent, DNA from the other parent, like the Twin Towers. 23 and 23 is 46. You think it's a mistake it took 46 years to build the temple? See, Jesus made sure everything in the Bible was perfect. The Jews said it took 46 years to build the temple. And you can rebuild it in one day. And Jesus said, you've heard, but you haven't understood. He was talking about rebuilding his temple, the body, after he died and went into the grave. He came out in a new temple. Do you get it? Okay, so, you know, this understanding is far beyond what traditional um, theologians have said they know. They don't know anything. Nothing. So, I got to put together all this data and just line up the bullet points and all the altars and all the, you know, all all the you know information in a way that we go through like four folders in a row and all we do is go through all the images go through one folder all the images next folder all the images next folder all the images and once you see it at one time all together you're going to be so at peace you're going to know that it's over you're going to know that you're going to be okay you're going to be at you're going to be at ease because we we are in their world. That's why that's why that's that's why that's a goat. That's a goat. So anyway, there we go. Peter Pan. Ha 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 ha. Busted. <laughs> it's pretty creepy, isn't it? It's just like it's so creepy. Anyway, and then uh, what I'll do before I do that long video, just so y'all know what's coming is I'll try and do a, a video on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because it's just... But I, I need to go watch it one more time just to make absolutely sure I saw what I thought I saw. I, I'm positive I did, but when I'm sitting there this next time, I'll go, okay, there it is. And then I'll show it to you. Okay, guys. God bless.